Welcome to Solo Cleaning School. Step into today's class with your guide, Ken Carfagno. I've shared this in my podcast. 2020 has been a very difficult year for everyone. For me particularly, I've dealt with a lot of emotional, um, a big emotional arc of, of incredible gratitude and incredible grief. So I've had, and those two intersect all year. So I want to say that in losing my father a month ago, I am so grateful that in 2020, with everything going on, I set a big, hairy, audacious goal for the year to start with. And this is something that I'd like to be able to work with each of you on. I knew what my why was. I knew in, I knew I needed to grow my solo cleaning business to get more money. I wanted to get back to the level my old business was. I knew I had to get back to the grind and work really hard. In a future podcast, I'll be sharing what's like the, the, the phenomenon of the duck, where from the top, they look so peaceful and they know where they're going. They just seem like, oh, what a great animal. They just know what they're doing. But under the water, they're kicking like crazy, and they have no idea what they're doing. They're just working like crazy, try, hoping that they get there. But from two two different perspectives, from under under the water, they're working like crazy, and they're they seem like they don't know what they're doing. Above the water, they just seem like they're gliding on the surface of the water. They're getting to their destination. And so depending on where your camera is, wherever your lens is, that's what you're going to see. And so this year was me, the duck. You might, guys might look at me host of the podcast and everything say well you can just be able to jump into a second business and just glide towards his glide towards his goals that's not true i've had to work really really hard carrie welcome i'm glad to have you on so it's not the case i haven't just been like that duck gliding along the surface and oh i just magically showed up and hit, hit my goals this year it hasn't been like that i've been kicking under the water like crazy and so i i had Big, hairy, audacious goal called a BHAG in 2020 to increase my revenue $60,000. That was meant to be $10,000 of new revenue, solo cleaning, every two months. So six goals, $10,000 each, $60,000. I actually hit that goal in four, eight, eight, eight months, eight and a half months. And so... We went from, and I'm not bragging, this is just what we worked hard on, what I worked hard on this year. Um, I went from like 25K to, I'm like, just pro I'm right around 85K. So I went up 60,000 in one year. That was a full year's goal. Why did I want that? Because we need, I wanted at least $5,000 in profit, in cash each month to pay all of our bills, have my solo cleaning business a couple days a week, once again, as I had it in my first business in New York take care of all the family needs, and then I could have my side businesses, other stuff that I'm doing to work on as well. Like this as an example. The Solo Cleaning School is a side business to me. That was my big herodacious goal. Add 60K. And there's a reason for that. I had a why behind it. I shared part of that. I ended up hitting 10,000 in February, 10,000 in April during the pandemic, and then I hit 20,000 in June, 15,000 in August. And then I hit like another five in October. But here's the point to this story. I set this aggressive goal. It was a smart goal. Every 60 days, boom, boom, boom. I had to hit it. I gave myself a deadline. That's the T in smart goals. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time bound. I set these goals. I'm accountable to a member um, – mastermind group that I'm a member of, those people were holding me accountable, and I hit those goals. And because I hit my goals early in October, I didn't know what was coming down the pike. I had already lost my grandmother. Um, both my parents died. When I see my parents, if you listen to my podcast, you know it's my grandparents, but they raised me. So my, my, my mother and father, they passed away this year uh, with my father passing a month ago. And so October hit. And I hit all my goals for the year. I could have kept growing. And that was my plan to keep growing. Circumstances changed. I was now every day dealing with hospital calls for my grandfather, my, my father. 
other things, family stuff. Um, our family ended up getting COVID too. Um, we're all fine. Nothing. It was a mild version, but there's just a lot of stuff that we've been dealing with. Um, and I decided I hit my 60,000. I hit it early. I took most of November and most of December on cruise control, not growing anything, just maintaining, helping people as I, as I, as I could within here with the other group I run in my business. I stopped adding clients. I haven't added any cleaning clients in November or December. I've paused everything. I have a waiting list. And the reason I did that is because I, I've needed time. I've needed time to deal with grief, with um, just be, be, be there with my family. And I share this story because I worked really, really hard for 10 months this year. And I hit my entire year's goal in 10 months. And I'm so thankful that I did that. It allowed me to take the last few months and literally coast. But now I assess I'm doing my next goals for 2021 now. I'm super excited to plan those out. And so I encourage you, like, there's going to come a time that you're going to need your business to be built to a certain place, certain level. And it, if you get there having not achieved your goal, you're going to have regret. And so I didn't want to have that regret. And I didn't know what was going to happen. You just never know sometimes what's going to happen. But I encourage you, don't take your business lightly. Put the energy into your business. Put passion, enthusiasm, deliberate, disciplined action steps that that's part of a plan that leads you to a, a goal. Do that. You have to do that. And when you do, you're going to start progressing at a level that will surpass maybe what you thought you could do because you have this plan. Join what I call the 1% Club. Get yourself a goal, a big goal that's backed by a big why that makes you emotional. Okay? Once you have that goal, write it down. Then get yourself an accountability to someone else on that goal. Do this and you'll have the same feeling of gratitude that I do because if something happens and you need to be able to take some time off for your business, I've still cleaned. But I clean. Here's my current setup. Here's where I'm at right now. I clean by myself Thursday and Friday, three houses each day, every other week. So that means I'm biweekly. I have six biweekly houses. That's it. Okay. And I have eight offices that I clean on rotation every Saturday. So some weeks it's four offices, some weeks it's seven offices. That's it. I work that I work Saturday with my kids. My two oldest kids. So I'm solo cleaning and I have my kids with me. Thursday and Friday every other week, I clean houses. So I clean on week one, I clean Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Week two, I clean Saturday. So I am I don't have to clean again until um I'm put next this coming Sunday. So I don't clean again until Sunday. Then the following week I clean Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Saturday, so a week later. I like the schedule. I'm not probably doing more than this. And that's enough for me to make eighty five. I'll probably I'll optimize this. I'll get this to a hundred thousand dollar a year revenue on that much time. And I'll I'll still make seventy five, eighty thousand a year on that schedule. That's a goal of mine. 2021 i'm mostly the way there now so i share this because i want you to start thinking what kind of a schedule what kind of an income would put you in a position where if you needed time off or if you need to deal with something you wouldn't have to worry about money because you've set up your solo cleaning business to take care of that thank you for listening to solo cleaning school class is dismissed <laughs>